TV, man. We are back with another interview from the interview series, man. And this is one I've been excited to do, man. This is a, a super talented artist um, that's actually signed to Endless Entertainment. And he's been doing his thing for a good five to six years. He's been putting out music. Uh, we've got Lebo. What's going on, man? What's up, man? What's up? Man, good to have you on, man. I'm excited about it, man. We've uh, we've crossed paths on social media a few times, you know, uh, and interacting and stuff, and we finally got something locked in. But I'm interested for you to be able to tell your story and kind of um, get people, uh, you know, an insight on the other side of just uh, – other than just the music, you know what yeah. I mean? And uh, so we'll just get right into it, bro. So are you, are you originally – like, where are you originally from? Uh, I was born in Haywood County but I was raised in Denmark. Mm -hmm. Denmark's like a little community outside of Jackson, Tennessee. Okay. Yeah. So you ten you West Tennessee raised. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. West Tennessee born and raised. What, uh, would you, how, what was it like growing up there? Like, man, about like any other West Tennessee city, man. Yeah. Poor. Yeah. You no know, parents working for a living. Yeah. Getting by. Yeah. Did you have any, uh, you got any <clears throat> siblings or anything? Uh, I got one real sister, and I got two stepsisters and a stepbrother. Okay, so grow, like growing up in West Tennessee, like how long were you there before y'all before y'all moved? Was y'all there for a good little grip? Yeah, I lived there my whole life. Oh, okay, it's just recently you've moved. Yeah, as okay. an adult. Yeah, got gotcha. you. Okay, so did you play sports or anything growing up in West Tennessee? Yeah, I played football, middle school and high school. Yeah, football, football in Tennessee, man. You know how they ser seriously they take that, yes, man. Sir. Go Hawks! Hell yeah, dude. What position do you play in football? Tight end, defensive end. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. I bet you were a tough motherfucker to block, dog. Hey, it was fun, man. Yeah, I, I like defense, man. Defense. Yeah, I play football, man. My whole like from five to high school, I played center, center and defensive end. But I ended up just playing center most of the time, and dude. I, I was – everything was cool in my senior year, man. I got rocked, dude, and I – man. Yeah. I got rocked on a punt return, bro, and it took me off my feet. I was about 60 pounds lighter than I am now, but, bro, after that, I thought – I rethought everything, dude. Yeah. You it was one of them stud that, linebackers right. from Sycamore mm -hmm. out there in Ashland City. This cornfield white boy, and he was sitting in the sitting in the wall of the punt return, and I, I was going for the, the return, man, and never even saw smoked. him, dude. He smoked me right in front of yeah. our sideline. It happens to the best of them. Yeah, it was cool. I, I probably got CTE from it now to this day, but you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, shout out to it. But um, so West Tennessee, man, you said growing up, you know, y'all you played sports and stuff like that. What what do you remember like your first recollection of, of music being as far as what you kind of remember? It may not have been a specific artist or anything, but just style. Was, was it a lot of country being played at your house? or? Yeah, my or? mom and dad both listened to country and southern rock. Yeah. So that's what you remember listening to a lot yeah. as a kid. Yeah. Do you remember when you started to like listening, when you started listening to like hip hop and stuff like that? It was like high school? No, nah, way younger. Oh, uh, way younger. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like my first CD that even was close to rap music was Kid Rock, Devil Without a Call. Oh yeah. That's like a good little like yeah, mashup yeah. between the rock and roll and rap because Kid Rock was doing that hip hop. Before he started yeah. switching over to rock, I yeah. really kid rock was making country rap cool before it was cool. You know he really I mean? was, dude. Yeah, that's true. You know, yeah. And then kid rock, man, once he, once he got into that lane, when he did the hip hop, and then he started kind of blending them, and then he just went full on rock music. Of course, he's mega star now, but that's, that's dope, man. Yeah. Do you remember? <clears throat> do you remember when you started thinking, man, this is maybe something I want? Like when you first started writing, or maybe when you figured out you wanted to kind of put something down on paper or record something? Uh, man, there was some guys back in high school and they had a studio. I was like, man, you know, I've always rapped, people beating on the table, you know, rapping, lunch yeah. and shit. But I went over there and recorded a few songs and like I said, that's for country was cool, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So never did anything with it. Yeah. And then four or five years ago, I'm like, well, now they're rapping about what I used to rap about. Yeah. So. So you, basically here. you had to wait for everybody to catch up yeah. more or less, you know what I'm saying? Like to what you were doing, it, less, it kind of put you back in the, the swing of things. And what what year was, so was this around the first time, like your first project was the Last of a Dying Breed project? And mm -hmm. that was 2018. Was that, yeah. was that around the time? Cause you took a few years off, you said. And then like when you started saying, <clears throat> well, hell, I'm, I might as well start doing this now that this is becoming a thing. Like yeah. you, that's when you decided you want to start doing it. 
Yeah, well, a buddy of mine let me hear the uh, song Cheatham County by Upchurch. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, that's when I was like, okay. Now yeah. somebody's rapping about what I was rapping about five, six years ago, you know. Yeah. So here we are. No, for sure. So we'll talk, we'll talk about that first album, man. Um, do you, like the last of a dying breed album, um, and that's all stuff that you were just doing independently, correct? Mm -hmm. Like you were just putting it out yourself. Was you getting, did you have producers out where you lived at that was doing it? Or was you getting, was you outsourcing it through other, through, you know, online or? Well, the same producer I started with, that's the same producer I'm still with. Oh, fire, dude. Day, yeah. Like we built the sound together, you know what yeah. I mean? And you can, you listen to it, you can hear you know the progress over time yeah so yeah. was that just a, a buddy that you met like in, in west tennessee and y'all yeah. just kind of grew up together type stuff no nah, somebody just introduced us and it went from there yeah. recorded one song and never quit that's cool though man because like like i've said before on these interviews with other artists is like if you can find you a producer or an engineer or both that you can lock in with it mm -hmm. it's hard to find that man because a lot yeah. of times you know artists are constantly whether they know it or not are searching for that yeah you know what I'm saying? But the fact that you've been able to have it from jump, I'm sure that makes it easier on you when you've got an idea and you can just, you don't even have to yeah. tell him a lot and he can kind of get it, get 100%. it done. Yeah. Which is cool. And he too. sings a lot of my hooks too. Is it yellow? Yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Yeah. I saw him on a lot of your, uh, your tracks and stuff. That's cool. Yeah. Shout out yellow. He's yeah, major, man. Cause he, he, does, yeah, he does hooks and stuff in yeah. addition to making the beats and stuff. Yeah. That's dope, man. And then you just kept you just kept kind of moving with things. You did uh, Tips and County. Was that the next project? No, uh, twenty three nineteen was the next. Oh, twenty three nineteen. Okay. Yeah, I got you. And then do you? So when did you start to see, like when you first started putting this stuff out? When did you start to see where things were kind of bubbling a little bit? Was it kind of a slow thing where you was just kind of doing it, and not paying much attention, and then something just like an opportunity happened, like with the endless stuff? Back or? home, man. As soon as I dropped the first song, everybody back home was on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You could do a show in any county around there and it was packed. Yeah. Yeah. So that's cool. So you already had you already had a good little following where you was at anyway. Yeah, at home for sure. And then um when did you so when did the uh the inless when inless how it did was, that come about? Yeah. Endless, like uh guy that owns endless head. His brother races Pee Wee, shout out Pee Wee, but uh, he booked me for a show at a drag strip in Bahia, Mississippi. Okay. Well, I went and performed and stuff, and he's like, man, I can get you signed. And, you know, I'm like, man, I heard this a thousand times, yeah. you know. Yeah. Next day, I was in the studio ahead and, you know, the label, and yeah. we chopped it up for a month or so, and then, you know, he decided to sign me. And what, what year was this? Mm, 2019. Okay, so this was around that same time where we where we were just at with yeah. the twenty three. You said the well, what? right after I dropped the Tipton County album, that's when I got signed. That's when it, okay, yeah. got it. So it was just one of those things where he just it was the racing thing, and then he just booked you for a show and was and saw yeah. what you was doing. I was like, man, I, that's cool though, man. Especially like like you said when you already are kind of skeptical with those situations because how many times has yeah. have, have we been told you know. Man, I can get you this, this, and then there's always that little hook, and then there's the catch where it's like, yeah, yeah you just gotta do this, this, and this. You gotta pay this, and but that's cool. What do you, let's talk? We can talk about that for a minute. So, like, when you started to do that, right? So, was after Tifton County, was it a thing where they were just kind of developing you as an artist or linking you up with some of the artists in in that on that label, or yeah. was they just letting you kind of just do your own thing and they were helping yeah. you along the way? I do my own thing, and they helped me along the way, but you know. At Endless, man, you got to build a relationship with mm -hmm. anybody on the label, you know. It yeah. ain't, hey, you do a song with him. It don't it don't work like yeah. that. You got like, to have a relationship and, you know, build your own bond, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, yeah, they've helped me along the way. And like I said, when I got signed, he had told me, he's like, look, you ain't going to pop right off the bat. You just wait your turn, and then I got you. Yeah. And now's my turn, so. No, that's dope. And it's cool because it basically it was just like keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. And then as long as you just keep doing that, <clears throat> things are going to get to where they need to be type yeah. thing. Yeah. Well, that's cool, man. Especially with that. I mean, you got to think they're the they're one of the biggest labels. Like, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And, and it's dope that they they saw that they 
that they were able to kind of branch out from what they normally do with like with the artists on their label yeah definitely got out of their comfort zone for sure yeah but yeah. it's cool too because especially when you get to collab with some of those guys like that's we'll talk about here in a couple minutes because that that's what that ended up leading to but so after you did the after you did the the tipton county joint what was the net was you just releasing singles after that yeah because that's around that time frame which was around pandemic and all that stuff yeah, that we was, was kind of tour there oh uh, was you it was struggle oh okay hell yeah um, and we've spoke off camera. You can talk about this too, because it's somebody I like to get on the on the on the program too. Is J Rock, man? Yeah. Let's talk about J Rock for a second. So, is, is, did you just know J Rock from from uh, back in the day? Nah, Yellow did. Him and okay. J Rock been rapping together for a long time. You know. Yeah. Like when J Rock was 15, 16 years old. Yeah. That's how long Yellow's been producing. That's dope, dude. You want them beers? So even even back. Even back in the, uh, back in that time, what time frame was that? That was like 10, 15 years ago? Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Which would be like around the time of like when Jelly was doing like the 2011, 2012, 13, when he yeah. was doing a lot of stuff with J-Rock and them, all those mm -hmm. guys, and O&E, you know, and everybody. Um, that's cool though, man. J-Rock, J-Rock's always been super dope. And it was one that I met him a few times, but it was always when there was shows happening out his way, I wasn't able to go or something like that, but salute to J-Rock though, that's that's yeah. cool. J-Rock, my brother, man. Yeah. Shout out Mr. 448. No, for sure, dude. And you just kept on, um, you kept on releasing music, man. You, you, was, you was really, I noticed 2022 was when you really started to hit them with yeah. those singles. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Which now, man, that's kind of the move. I mean, it's, albums too but like it was man for yeah. a while it was single single singles yeah. now it's albums albums it's like it, it's like waves bro yeah but the fact that you if you especially being with the label they're going to be able to they'll probably also be able to kind of could tell you hey maybe this is the way to go or even you know what i'm saying so because mm -hmm. they're going to know as well as anybody yeah on, on the best formula um like i'm dropping albums right now yeah and well and see too it's like the singles are dope, but like when somebody listens to a single, like on Spotify, for example, after that song plays, it, it don't necessarily keep you on that artist's page. It'll, yeah. it'll send you randomly somewhere yeah. else. But the albums is where you can really mm -hmm. build that that rapport with those listeners and stuff, man. I, I'm, yeah, I'm all sure. the way for it. Especially with us kind of being, you've been doing it for a long time, just like I have. Back in the day, man, everything, you could push one song or one album for two years. Yeah. Now you push an album out, and then two months later, they're like, "Well, he's done slowed up." Yeah, you so better be pretty... dropping one every yeah. quarter. Yeah, because it's like now it's so it's such a, what have you done for me lately? Like the attention span is so short that they want something all the time, and everything's visual now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I noticed too that a big thing for you, man, that happened was when you got on the the compilation, the label compilation, the endless compilation. Um, you had a couple of your songs on that project as well, didn't you? Yeah. You had Muddy Waters. And Party With Me. And Party With Me, which you yeah. did with Big Homie G and Yellow, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, do you want to speak about the Big Homie G? Like how, when you were talking about building relationships, you want to talk about how that yeah. came about? Big Homie just been cool since day one, you know what I mean? Yeah. He showed me love every time he seen me, he made sure I was good. Mm -hmm. Sent him the song, he didn't hesitate. Had it back within two days. Yeah, dude. I remember finding out about him through the Tick song. Yeah. When I heard that, I was like, oh, dude, snapping. And then I found out he was signed to in Endless, and I was like, man, him and Big 30 and all them guys, man, they're really they're really pushing pushing the line over there. Yeah. So that's that's a good group of guys to be linked up with, man, especially with you already have your own buzz and a completely different lane, which is going mm – -hmm. y'all can help each other in that sense. Yeah, for you sure. You know what I'm saying? For sure. So getting on that compilation, that probably really was able to catapult you a little bit because that puts you in the discussions yeah. with – the, all these guys, like D. Moolah and all these guys that are on that on that yeah. project, you know what I'm saying, that are really buzzing, um, which is dope. And that's going to be nothing, do nothing but help you, um, you know, moving forward. And I noticed in 2023, too, you dropped the, uh, I was listening to it this morning. The, was it? Countrycation. Countrycation. Yeah, I, I just wanted yeah. to say it right. Um, which I think is a dope, I think that's a dope name for an album. Appreciate it. Um, but you got some good features on there, man. You had, you had, of course, Yellow's on there. You got your boy Hogleg that's in the building. Yeah. You got him on there too. Um, you got, is this the one that's got Marcotic? Yeah, we got Marcotic on there. Mm -hmm. JJ Hughes. 
You got Big Poe on there. Uh, FTF Skitty. You got you got a good little group of uh, of features on there. And was that the first album through Endless? Yeah. Because everything else was was just singles mm -hmm. leading up. Um, and you yes. said, go ahead. Go ahead. No, you, that's, I, that's all I was going to say. This next one, though, man, it's just a one. Yeah. What's this it, next one called? Can you talk about it? Yeah. yeah. Sunset and Dixie. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Drops February 23rd. Oh, dope, bro. Well, this will be rolling yeah. out right around yeah. that time, so that's good timing, man. Yeah. Do you want to talk about any um, – because this we'll hold this for when, around the time the album comes out for you. Do you want to talk about some of the songs you got on there? If there's Are there any features on that one? Man, to be honest with you, ain't many features. Yeah, that's cool. Because I got to recording songs, and uh, that's what Yellow said. He said, man, you ain't going to put nobody on it, you know, on any of the songs? Yeah. Because I'm about to record the whole album. Yeah. But, yeah, of course, Yellow's on uh, a couple of them. Yeah. Hog legs on one. Yeah. Uh, Big Poe. Shout out Big Poe. Yeah, shout out Big Poe, man. And uh, my son, Maddox. He's on there. That's oh, no, it. that's your son. Dope. Okay. I, yeah, I saw him yeah. on, on the, the Country Cation album, too. Yeah. On the on the West song. Yeah. That's dope. So how old's your son? Uh, 12. That's cool. So did he just, he get a liking to it just from being yeah, around man. Pops and you've been doing yeah. the damn thing? Yeah. Really? He's talented, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. He can dance, you know, he got the full package. Yeah. yeah. That's cool though. What's it like to be able to do do something like that with your son? That's pretty that's probably pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah. That's probably the best feeling out of all of it. Yeah. For sure. Getting to do that. So mm -hmm. do you have a so is the singles that you're rolling out, do you have a single out right now? Is the real hillbilly? Is yeah. that on Yeah, that's on the album. So that's the newest single currently. Yeah. Um, and that one's gaining some traction too, I noticed. Yeah. It's doing good on TikTok for sure. No, that's where I that's where I started seeing it is uh yeah. it was popping up on my for you page a lot. And that's always when you know you're yeah. doing something right when they start randomly throwing you into the, mm -hmm. to the for you pages. Um do you have another single planned to release around the time of the album or are you just gonna keep riding that wave of the of the real hillbilly joint? Real hillbilly. Yeah. And I'm gonna drop the video to Sunset and Dixie February twenty third too. Oh, dope. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. So like Aside from that, do you have um, <clears throat> do you have any other plans other than just are you just going to continue to keep pushing with after this project? You're just going to keep pushing it and then keep building the catalog up. Is that kind of the plan? You obviously want to do shows as well. 2024, I'm probably going to drop an album every quarter. That's the way to do it, man. Yeah. I wish I could be on that same time Don Trip is, but that's just so much. That dude's yeah. dropping every every 28 yeah. days, dude. That's and what you gotta do though. No, for sure. Yeah. Like he that's his, his as long as he's been around, this is the yeah. highest his buzz has been. Yeah, and, people's attention span ain't long, man. No, dude. We were talking the other day about how you remember back in the day a song was three sixteen bar verses. Yeah. Now a three six three sixteen bar verses is damn near an EP now. Because mm -hmm. you get a two eight bar verses, yeah. there's one song. Like you can damn near get an EP out of three of what what one song would have been back in the day. My first album, it's all sixteen. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Cause I remember back in the day, like you didn't, it wasn't even a question if it was, if it was 16, yeah. if you was doing 12s, you were like, why is it so short for songs were five minutes and up and nobody cared. Nobody even, it wasn't even an issue. Yeah. Now, if you do a five minute song, people will look at you like you're crazy, dude. And it's yeah. just been like a 10 year gap is all that's been. And it's that different. You know what I mean? They uh, want a two minute song and keep running keep it, it moving. Back. Yeah. All these, like the, all the biggest artists now, that's mm -hmm. how it is. Um, and you said you've got, do you want to speak on, you want to speak on your homie that's here too? Yeah. Shout out hog leg, man. That's my artist. Yeah, dude. You know, we got hog leg in the building. Hell yeah, yeah, dude. So is that somebody that, uh, that you've got, that you're going to be helping, um, uh, put out music as well? Yeah. He just dropped an album a couple months ago. Oh, dope. Okay. What's Dirty it called? Dirty Hands, Clean Money. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah. That's... Go check him out, man. Hog leg. No, for sure, dude. That's cool, man. So, y'all be sure to. Is there anything else you want to you want to touch on? Uh, man, I want to say shout out to Pee Wee, man. That's the dude who got me signed that booked me. Yeah, dude. And now he's half owner in my label, River Rap Music. So, oh, that's dope, man. Yeah, and it's dope too that you have that. <clears throat> it's dope that something like that that we get told all the time and, and something like that, that actually panned out for the good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cause so many times uh, us independent artists, you know, you get burned along the way by the grass is greener type of pitch. Yeah. 
but it's cool that, that that's actually working out for you well, man. And I wish nothing but the best for you on that, dude, because it seems to be working. And as long as you keep putting in that work, you know what I mean? It's just going to yeah. keep it's going to keep doing what it's going to do. We still mashing the gas pedal, man. We ain't slowing down no time soon. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. Well, man, I hope y'all be sure if y'all haven't already, Chat Arms TV listeners and viewers, if you haven't subscribed to him, we'll make all of it. We'll make sure all of his links are available. And y'all be sure to tap in. This will be out around the time that the album drops. So we'll put the smart link for his album where y'all can go and stream it, download go it on it, iTunes. Go get it. Yeah, and you got the new video dropping on the yeah. 23rd as well. Yeah. So we'll kind of align all that to where it drops for you around that same. Is it? Because that'll be on a Friday, right? Yeah. We'll just drop, we'll, we'll try to drop it the Saturday after the album drops or something. Okay. And then that way, y'all be sure to go go check it out, man. But Lebo, it's been a pleasure, bro. Man, I look appreciate for, it, bro. And I appreciate you, man. We look forward to working with you more in yes, the future. Sir. And y'all have a y'all have a good night at them shows, man. Stay safe, bro. Oh, got to, man. You know, Chat Arms TV, man. Appreciate y'all.